you know, <laughs> I gotta give, I gotta give a round of applause. Give a round of applause to Microsoft. I didn't think these guys could top Sony on the most stupidest decisions ever made. Like, I couldn't believe it. When Sony said that the PC players have to now get uh, a PlayStation account in order to play Helldivers 2, I thought they lost every damn born of their minds in order to, to do that shit. I thought they were the, that was the dumbest decision they could have made, and it almost cost them the reputation of Helldivers 2. One of their biggest multiplayer games they've ever had, it almost cost them. But, you know, they backpedaled because they knew it was a stupid decision. But for Microsoft, I got to give them a round of applause. They, they, they topped it this week. They topped it with this dumb ass announcement confirming that a few of their uh, Bethesda studios is being closed. And I got to say, really, thank you, Microsoft. Thank you for proving what I've been saying about this company for, for years, years. It's that Microsoft is a fucking joke of a development team, a joke. So for those that don't know, uh, recently, uh, Microsoft announced that a few of their Bethesda companies are gonna be um, shutting down. And the companies that are included is Arcane Studio, the Austin branch of that studios. This team was behind Redfall, that vampire uh, multiplayer game that was buggy and messed up at, as fuck. <laughs> That team is going bye-bye. And then you have uh, Alpha Dog. Uh, these were mobile uh, team guys. And they did um, Mighty Doom. So goodbye to those team. Then we have Roundhouse Studios. Uh, these guys are being absorbed into uh, the Elder Scrolls uh, online team. So that's the Zenimac online studio. Uh, and then finally, and this one hurts me the most, Tango Gameworks, the creators and developers of High Five Rush and Evil Within are closing now shop. Now, let me just start by saying, that's some bullshit. I can probably understand the Redfall team didn't meet standards they really scoots the pooch all of us was making fun of them for screwing up and whatnot and you know it really made microsoft look bad that microsoft as phil spencer didn't look over that team to get it done all right i couldn't understand that bullshit i was like all right that team needs to go that's that's fine it, it sucks but i'm like you know that's that's kind of understandable but the studio that got you tons of awards, the studio that you decided, hey, you know, Tango Game Wars, you gave us a great ass game. You know, we're going to port that game onto other consoles to prove to people that this game is fucking awesome. The game that everybody unanimously, everywhere, everywhere you talk to who's played High Five Rush was like, this is the most incredible game. This is the hallmark of what. Microsoft should strive for in making games. Everything. Everything. You mean to tell me their, their reward for all their hard work and dedication and getting you those fucking rewards? Oh, your company is closed. Get the fuck out of here, Microsoft, with that dumb shit. That is horseshit. That is the most literal. That is the most ridiculous thing to me. I don't want to hear this shit about, well, Microsoft is cleaning house. Like, Matt Booty's fucking saying, well, you know, this decision will, will is tough. But, you know, it, it will allow us to uh, invest in new in new stuff. And, you know, it will, it will reprioritize, focus on nurturing uh, great titles over the years. I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. You literally 
literally said, you literally said in interviews that you guys wanted a Japanese studio in your portfolio. And you got Tango Games, one of the most unique Japanese studios that was that's doing new shit with Evil Within. Evil Within is could have been your first actual horror title, first party franchise. Oh no, no Evil Within three. Okay, Ghostwire Tokyo, this spooky, airy, like shooter, but you know you're a ghost investigator and shit. Oh. No Ghostwire Tokyo 2. Oh, High Five Rush, a unique spin on Hack and Slash where you beating up people, but it's also a rhythm based game. Oh, no, uh, no High Five Rush 2. What the fuck? What, what are we talking about here? What are you prioritizing? What are you prioritizing? Oh, I know what you're prioritizing. Professor's main studio. You mean a studio that comes out with the same fucking game every single fucking release? Get the fuck out of here. What made Tango Game Work so special to me was Shinji Mikami's willing to create and also pass the baton. You know, when even when in one came out. It was a modern day um, horror horror game that was wasn't perfect by any means. It, it had some flaws, you know. It had a lot of cheap deaths. Um, some things about it wasn't all too right, but it was passion put behind it. Um, the gameplay loop, when it worked, was fucking phenomenal. And for the most part, it was a cool breath fresh new take at a horror game we haven't had a real psychological horror game where the world and the atmosphere is changing left to right and hitting you with different things in a long time it was cool to have that and then when even went into what the shinji Mikami do he passed the baton to his students and was like you guys do the the sequel and what did the and what did the team do he trusted them to make the sequel and he made and they made a banging ass sequel. They took all the complaints they had for, for Evil Within 1 and said, let's fix it and address it, and it's all addressed in Evil Within 2. And what the and that's always been Shinji Mikami's thing, you know, is that he makes something, but he passes the time. You know, when he created Resident Evil, he made it, and then he said, okay. Pass the baton. Let me get someone who doesn't is it into horror. And then what happened? You made the greatest fucking sequel of all time, Resident Evil 2. And then what happened? After that, he was like, "Hey, you do it, do it again." And they were like, "Nah, we don't want to do Resident Evil, uh, another Resident Evil game. We want to make this cool action fucking franchise called Devil May Cry." And what did Shinji Mikami do? He was like. Go for it. And what happened? Now Devil May Cry is like one of the coolest fucking hack and slack franchise. He's always been that. So to lose him for Tango Games was rough. But I think Tango was going to be able to hang, hang, hang strong without him. And to see that it was like the, the, the students had become the master. And they've been able to take the baton and wield it flawlessly. Fucking flawlessly with High Five Rush. And people loved it and praised it. I loved it. I said it was like a throwback to my childhood of hack and slash games, but also something new and fresh that we haven't had in the hack and slash genre before. Was so so important. So to see that these lovable company that gave us one of the best games of last year, one of uh, fucking Xbox biggest games of last two generations to be rewarded with a big fuck you and a close down is so insulting to me that is the most insulting thing you know not to mention all those people and that includes all the the other studios that got their shit shut their studios shut down them losing their company and now have to go find other work other ways of work it's heartening 
I don't know if anybody's ever lost a job, but I've had friends that have lost their job. And I can tell you, it's not an easy road or easy step to get back in the drawing board and find a new work. It takes months, even years to get find new work. It's not as easy as what people make it is. Like people, I hear people online always say, well, oh, they could just find another work. They could just get on another work and find new work. It's not that easy, my guys. So miss me with that nonsense. Miss me with that bullshit story. I don't think that the thing that pisses me off the most and why I'm so frustrated by this shit is that you have a fucking company like 343 Industry who sits on their fucking ass and fucking puts out mediocre after mediocre fucking fucking Halo games. Their flagship title. Their flagship console fucking game. Mediocre after mediocre nonsense. And these motherfuckers get to walk away cleave, clean, clean as a fucking whistle. That is bullshit. That is the most, the dumbest shit I've ever fucking seen. Like, that is ridiculous. That they have made Halo so irrelevant, people do not care about. Halo does not have the same level of love and attention that it had before. And yet, this company gets to go keep going. While the company that has won you awards has got numerous acclaims, it's not kept around? What the fuck? And didn't you say, didn't want somebody, I know it's you fucking Spill Spencer, you fucker. I know it was you that probably sat there and said, well, oh, uh, we would love to have a Japanese studio under our belts. You have a fucking Japanese studio. A Japanese studio that literally is making brand new, unique shit. And you mean to tell me you're not going to keep them? What the fuck? What fucking universe are we living in here? Like, I don't know if you guys are all fucking dumb over at fucking Xbox. Or you guys just smoke crack. But either on the way, you all are fucking idiots. I'm sorry. Everyone that, that thought this idea through is idiots. That includes you, Sarah Bond. Don't think... Baby love, don't think just because you got a pretty face that you don't get half of this blame too. You know, I, I was a little blind when I t when I tweeted out, oh, they dogpiling on my girl Sarah Bond. They sent her to the wolves. But nah, fuck that. She she has been on in, in Xbox office. She had to have known that this shit was wrong. And she did not do anything. So I'm sorry. It, it, yeah, she is getting dogpiled, but throughout the whole interview, this is how she fucking sound. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do it. So miss me with that nonsense. She's just as guilty, at, just as much as Phil Spencer. And just as much as Matt Booty, all three of them are as guilty for this dumb decision. And you know what is even more sad? The girl had the audacity to say we focusing on mobile. We're, we're going to be focusing on, on a mobile store. Did you not just cancel a mobile studio? Get the fuck out of here with that dumb shit. Like, I don't want to hear this nonsense from this woman. This is nonsense from this team. And now, there will be no Evil Within 3. Because the smartest thing would have been to say was, Hey, uh, you know, uh, let's uh, do a Evil Within 3 because we don't have a horror franchise under our belt. Let's fucking do it and let's go hard. We don't have a hack and slash under our belt. Oh, well, we do. It's called High Five Rush. Let's do a sequel. And so that even brings up my next point. What was the fucking point of putting it on the fucking PlayStation um, store and, and the Switch store? What was the point? What was the point? You tell me. What was the fucking point? What was the point of putting these games on, on this conference? On this, on these platforms, if 
there's not going to be a continuation of those games. And even if the small fucking chance there are in the continuations of those games, which I know they won't because it's Microsoft, and just like any big fucking company, they're not going to waste time on some small shit when they can be making more money on Fallout, which their show just came out. And, you know, I didn't watch it yet, so I don't know how it is. But their show just came out. It's blowing up. Everyone's been saying that, which I guarantee you that's the reason why they did this. They did this because the show is blowing up. And, you know, they want to, like Matt Booty says, you know, they're going to orchestrate or focus on high level um, con uh, content and, and, and whatnot. They're trying to focus on their big titles. And anything that isn't big is irrelevant, you know? <laughs> And it's sad. It is fucking frustrating and it's sad. And then I know people's gonna say, well, Mr. Degenerate, calm down. It's not that serious, you know? It's not that serious. At least we have id software. Motherfuckers, fuck id software, all right? I love Doom. Doom is cool and all, but motherfuckers, don't come with me with that bullshit. Fucking Doom, Doom, I should say. We don't know those motherfuckers are safe. If fucking the next Doom game don't sell, oh, good sake, fucking goodbye to Doom. <laughs> oh my goodness, if Doom don't sell, oh boy, say goodbye to Doom. Oh, if 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 fucking uh, Hellblade Two don't do well, Ninja Theory, whoop, say goodbye to you. <laughs> like you can't trust any anything fucking Microsoft says. Talk about we care about preserving uh fucking uh developers creative um designs and, and whatnot where we would never tell our studios what to make if they want to make something we're gonna make it no the fuck you not what the fuck you gonna do is say hey if it ain't call of duty if it ain't fucking be diablo if it ain't one of these big fucking franchise that is it this is the biggest problem and i'm starting to see this this is the biggest problem of and i said this before of microsoft they buy shit they do not create they just buy shit and now we're seeing the ripple effects of what happens when you when you just buy shit when you just buy shit when you run it low on money oh what the fuck is gonna happen oh well there's certain studios gotta go and you know, what's even more crazier is that Matt Booty had the audacity to say, well, you know, we want uh, more double A games to add to our library. I'm like, motherfucker, was High Five Rush not a double A game? Wasn't that not a big, big, big triple A game? No, the fuck that wasn't. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? People is out here, well, oh, it took like five years. And? And? That game is not high budget at all. <laughs> so don't give me that bullshit. Don't give me that nonsense. Don't give me that bullshit. Matt Booty be eating nothing but ass. That's why his name is Booty. He picked the perfect, his mom named him the perfect fucking name. Fucking ass. Booty. Ass Booty. This man is ass. Cause he just said the dumbest shit, and then the, the thing that grinds me even more is that they, they were literally in talks based off of new information we have just found out, that they were in talks of making High Five Rush Two. What the fuck? And I, I was so excited to come back to this world of the High Five Rush world, and now I can't get that. And God forbid they get somebody else to make the IP. Oh, good lord. Good luck with that. We don't want another 343 industry going on here, all right? Fuck all that nonsense. So miss me with all this nonsense. Miss me with this bullshit. Talk about we want to increase the price of, of Game Pass. Increase the price of what? For what? There is nothing to buy on this Game Pass. There's nothing. Unless you want to just try games out for demo purposes. What what is there? I have not used Game Pass in a minute. So okay, great. And and based off of what I'm what the articles are saying, the Game Pass subscription service hasn't moved the inch in a long time. 
So what the fuck we talking about when it comes on the Game Pass? What are we talking about with that? So, again, miss me with this nonsense. Miss me with all this nonsense. And you guys talk about, oh, we might even shut down even more. You might shut down even more studios? Oh, Lord. Well, this just confirms that uh, Ninja Theory, you are next on the, on the chopping block, my brother. So, you know, get on your little corner, turn your way, look at the pretty ocean, and Microsoft going to shoot you right in your damn temple when you're not looking. Because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And I'm going to be sitting there, be like, damn, sucks. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It sucks. To make a long story short and to wrap this video up, I think this just proves once again that you should never trust these companies nor these studios that when they say we care about uh, players thoughts and we care about fucking uh, developers and what they have their created vision and whatnot fuck all that nonsense they only care about what's the fastest dollar what's the coolest dollar and what's gonna get them the most likes that's it they don't give a fuck about uh, uh, uh artist vision fuck all that shit even if you've done all the right things like tango game works and you make a banger ass game like high five rush and it's loved by many you are still not safe from getting shut down you can make something as shitty on your first time first ever time making a game like redfall you are not safe from a shutdown and I just think this goes once again what, what Ben Starr said. We are living in a great time of video games, but the saddest time in video games as well. Because this is bullshit that we lost a good studio like Tango Games because Phil Spencer decided, hey, uh, let me go back on my word when I said uh, I care about uh, developers' uh vision and let's start shutting down companies what was their reward for giving them a bunch of awards i shut down and that's just not gonna fly with me i don't care anything about what's the next game fucking microsoft have up in store good luck to uh hellblade 2 that's a game i was extremely looking forward to i don't even care at this point because i don't even have faith that Microsoft is going to keep Ninja Theory around after this bullshit. And I really have respect for Ninja Theory. So, without further ado, that's going to be the end for the video. If you're new to the channel, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know what do you think about the whole shutdown, um, closer. Comment below, let me know. And as always, Stay tuned. More videos are on the way. It's your boy, Mr. Degenerate, signing out. Have a good one.